Fort Bend County Sheriff's Office says a 47-year-old man convinced a girl three times younger than him that they were married. Not only that, the Sheriff's Office tells us the girl's own mother knew about it. Eyewitness News reporter Deborah Wrigley live now. And Deborah, this is just so upsetting and clearly disturbing. It is, Art. There is no marriage license on file in Fort Bend County for this alleged union. But now there are two people in jail accused of a crime. The suspect and if the marriage were legal, which is, it is not, it would also in jail would be his mother-in-law. Stephen Cardi is 47 years old, more than three times the age of the person who believes she's his wife. The story revealed earlier this month when she went to see a doctor. She was questioned and asked by doctors, and she admitted that she was married. And that she had been married since she was 13, which is not allowed under any Texas law, even with the consent of a parent and a judge. Now Cardi is charged with aggravated sexual assault of a child. The child's mother, 39-year-old Cherry Jamila Payton, accused of child endangerment through parental negligence. She, her daughter, and Cardi, according to the detective, all shared the same home. She knew that uh, these two individuals were sexually active with each other. So we felt that the charge for endangering a child did fit. But now this, the detective says the defendants told her the marriage was part of their cultural belief system. They belong to the Hebrew Israelites, so they are biblical people and they follow the laws of the Bible. But among those we spoke to in Fort Bend County, there was a lot of skepticism about that. If it's truly a belief system well, or it's just convenient to now exactly. we have this story and so... It's a fabricated belief system right, based absolutely. on the need and convenience. News right now, sad update on the news coming out of Nashville at this hour. Authorities confirming three children are dead in that shooting. The shooter is also dead. And you were just taking a live look from the scene at Covenant School. It's a private Presbyterian school in an affluent Nashville suburb. The incident took place just a short time ago, and police say they engaged the shooter but did not say if officers killed him or if the suspect killed himself. The Nashville school attack leaving scenes of heartache for the victims and thankfulness by the survivors. 14 minutes of terror for 200 students and dozens of Covenant teachers and school administrators. Police just now identifying the shooter as Audrey Elizabeth Hale, a 28-year-old from Nashville and a former student. Nashville Metro Police on the scene quickly, rushing the shooter on the second floor of the school. But with two AR-style weapons and a handgun, there was already damage done. Three adults, two nine-year-olds, and one about to turn nine had been shot dead. As the police work was underway, so too was the prayer work at this Christian elementary school, invaded by hail in a targeted attack, according to investigators. As school families and a city there mourn, authorities right now at the shooter's residence in Nashville, they found maps and surveillance evidence, the result playing out today at 10.30 a.m. We know and believe that Entry was gained through shooting through one of the doors uh, is how they actually uh, got uh, into the school. I am overwhelmed at the thought of the loss of these families, of the future lost by these children and their families. And the leading cause of kids get death now is guns and gunfire. And that is unacceptable. We just now have the first picture of one of those killed. 60-year-old Catherine Kuntz led the Covenant School. A letter from Kuntz on the school's website citing the school's unique challenge to educate 21st century children in a way that prepares them to impact their culture and think in accordance with timeless truth, she wrote, helping children become who God intends them to be. Today, tragedy hits a Nashville school uh, as people mourn the loss of their children. Trans activists turn violent across not just the country, but the world. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. That's all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His Son, Bahashem Racha HaKwadash. That's in the name of the Holy Spirit. And double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well. To you other brethren, shalom to the elect, shalom to the hopefully elect, shalom. So, I was uh, going back and forth a little bit, 
with this guy, Sam Miguel. He did a put up a clip, an old clip, um, about this guy, Stephen Cardi, who actually married, uh, I believe, a 14-year-old. They said three times his age. It wasn't three times. But a 14-year-old and the mother consented with it, right? <clears throat> the mother consented with it. Now, I don't know the, the details of it, but now <clears throat> in the ancient times, according to the customs of the laws, right, that's what it was as far as you could marry a young woman. Even when you go to school in the 7th and 8th grade, these young women that reach puberty, right, 12, 13, 14 years old, they already have a sex, by the way. But they make it seem like, and this is where the Queen of Heaven comes in, that the men have convinced them and made them and forced them to do it. It's his fault now. Although 90% of those young women come on to older men. Everybody knows it. So if the man gets in trouble and she's in consent to know what she's doing, because if she went and killed somebody, they would say she's under the consent of the law. She knows what she's doing. She's 13, 14 years old. She knew what she was doing when she killed her grandma. So why is it the same situation when it comes to a man laying down with her? Shouldn't she get in trouble too? But nope, not in this society. Not where the queen of heaven reigns rampant. Shouldn't she get in trouble? Should she be held responsible? After all, fast forwarding to the school shooting, <clears throat> this was a trans and now they're allo allowed to trans at that age. Yep, but they know what they're doing then. They understand everything completely was going on, except if she messed with a 30, 40 year old man, then she never knew what was going on. Yeah, you have to really consider the morals and the values of Babylon. But that's what Christianity does. And then these Christians, they will say, if this was a black Hebrew Israelite school, so-called, they would have all the cameras, the photos. And you know, they'll set things up. We, we understand what's coming. But for whatever reason, this doesn't play a factor in all Christianity. Although through all the Roman Catholic Church, out of the Roman Catholic Church, all the adultery going on in the churches, the murder, deception, the thievery that's going on in the Christian church, right? You name it, it's going on in the church. The Boy Scouts, the lawsuits, they're bankrupt because they can't pay enough people for all the molestation that happened through the Christian church, through the Boy Scouts. And then they set up the Boy Scouts for, the, for particular reasons. That's all I can say on here. Yeah. Yeah. They set up the Boy Scouts, and then they take these, the youth, out in the woods like a predator, right? You can't make this stuff up. But this guy, Sam Miguel, this is all he can post, right? The guy who supposedly killed his, his wife and sons because of whatever happened with him. Now, you're going to tell me in any religion so called that that can't happen that any religion that that can't happen and let's say you, you, we speak and we speak according to the ancient times right there were things and ways things that went in ancient times if you can't discern how it's supposed to go then that's it but you know what they say that hey, we're rapists although the feds never locked us up for it never came at us for it but Leave it to these guys. These guys will set the whole scenario up. Proverbs 17 and 15. He that justifies the wicked and that condemneth the just, even they both are an abomination to the Lord. Now, I want to go over here, and we'll get back into the age thing, but I want to go over here because um, this guy was clearly, clearly pushed, because I said he wasn't, but this guy was clearly pushing the fact that that guy uh, was in like Peter Moses who killed his son and wife. So now they're trying to blame all Hebrew Israelites for any wickedness that go on. So now why don't you blame, 
all the Israelites that are in One West, IUIC, GLCC, I can't speak for all those other groups, HOI, Great Millstone mainly. Why don't you blame Great Millstone for all these jakes, and these young men, not out there committing adultery, not out there gangbanging like the rappers that, that uh, put crosses on their shoulders and like, like they're from the Christian church, right? They're not in jail. They're not in prison. They're not doing anything wicked. But they seem to be able to use a situation like this for a guy who has left the truth and went crazy and killed people, as, as far as they say, and is all of a sudden... It's all Israelites, but this, a trans Christian, and there's more rumors and things that are coming out. I was I was going to put the pictures of the pastor, and we can see the pastors that was in there, those male pastors. Yeah, you're not supposed to judge a book by the cover, but a man shall be known by his continents, right? So it seems like this guy's got cognitive dissonance. Uh, dissonance. Um, they only bring up what they want to bring up to come against what we teach. But they will never go and say, yeah, we got to blame Christianity for this. What made this young man uh, who was trans in the first place, what happened to where he did that, where he became that way? And got mad and angry to go up and shoot up little kids and the school. I wonder what happened. Could this be a, 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 a portion of abuse? I don't know. I can't say that. But we do know there's something crabby. There is definitely something weird about the whole situation. So anyway... They had, on this whole video, all they're talking about is Apostle Tahar and Apostle Rakar and the Apostles. I'm not going to read all that. It doesn't make sense. This is well known that GMS member, and you know Apostle Tahar is in agreement with sleeping with underage girls. This is what they say. But for whatever reason, whatever reason, nobody's been to jail. Nobody's been charged with it. Right? None of us have underage women. And what do you mean by underage? 18? When did that come about? There's some Israelite groups who teach falsely on that. Let's go here. Uh, let's go to... You can Google this stuff. You can research this stuff. Previously, there was no minimum marriage age, so as long as a judge consented. In May 2018, Delaware became the first state to completely ban child marriage. Where the hell do they get that a 16-year-old is a child? Although if she kills somebody, even 14, 15, she stabs her mother, her grandparents, they're going to charge her as an adult. Well, maybe if it was a boy, they would do that. I don't know about the little girls. All for whatever reason, we need to protect the young women. But the young women who are doing these things purposely, to mess with these men, you're going to tell me they don't have their own mind to a degree to know what's right and what's wrong? You got 40, 50-year-old women saying, I wish I could have changed this. I wish I could have did that. But they made those decisions. The scripture says man's goings of the Lord. So is the woman's. So is women. Women goings are of the Lord's too. So if they're able to trans themselves, do all these things that they do, and in consent of knowing what's going on, what is the difference when they get older or they mess with an older man, all of a sudden, they don't know what they're doing? The man is manipulating them? These same people will say, hey, it's wrong. But if they say, I don't want to be a boy no more, I want to be a girl, now it's become correct. Because now they understand what they want as an individual. But what they want as an individual like being with an older man, nope, <clears throat> that is wrong. But anyway, let's go to some customs that vocab and these Miguel TV won't go into. This is the you wish customs. 
it says the minimum age of marriage under the you and then the wish law is 13 for boys and 12 for girls however it take place before that and often did in ancient times the age of 12 approximates the consummate of puberty according to you and the wish law now why isn't sam miguel vocam alone and everybody else speaking on this right now i know today they've changed laws and uh, because this is all modernized thinking but there's nothing wrong with saying when a young woman reached puberty she was ready for sex there was nothing wrong if a man took a younger woman right took care of her promised she was promised to him and he was promised to take care of her to where the, by the time she's 18, she hasn't been with numerous amounts of men. So the question I have, would it be smarter for a young woman to preserve, right, her beauty, if you want to call it that, or her preciousness in one man than a thousand? It says one passage that would <clears throat> echo long and loud for the Ashkenaz throughout the middle uh, marriages off of the sons, the daughters near the period of a puberty. I mean, this is well known. This is well known. So anyway, he says, he goes on to say in the conversation, about um, for Caucasians, we want to blame them all. See what the Bible says. Job 34 and 29. When he can a quietness, who can make trouble? And when he make hide of his face, who then can behold him? Whether it, be, whether it be done against a nation or a man only, the children of Israel <clears throat> was punished as a nation. You must understand that it's the Lord. The Lord is the one who's going to bring judgment. Ecclesiastes 3.15, it's the Lord. It's not us. We're just saying what the Lord said he's going to do. Right? So I don't know how he gets the fact that um, blaming all the Israelites for this, but yet we're blaming all the Caucasians. Well, then why don't we blame all Christianity for what they've been doing? Why don't we blame the whole Roman Catholic Church how come in most of these videos I couldn't find a clip even though the title said trans none of them said it in the video why wouldn't they say that why wouldn't these um, reporters say who exactly this was but for whatever reason they say Hebrew Israelites and when it comes to child rape and then they show child rape is this man just literally took her, threw her down. This is the problem with media and a problem with this man, cog cognitive dissonance, who doesn't think correctly. And this is the way media presents things for you to think a certain way. Why do you think they put it in the movies? That's exactly why they put it in the movies, so you can see it that way. Matthew 7 to 2, For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure you meet, right? It shall be measured to you again. Okay? And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considereth not the beam that is in thine own eye? With a question mark. Right? So what happened with Christianity and all the wickedness that's going on in there, but all but all we can see here, this is all we can see on his channel. Hebrew Israelites, Hebrew Israelite. He even did a video and said, he even did a video and said, Ariya is dead and gone. You know, this is the mindset of someone effeminate who is very angry because they joined a so-called cult of the comforter. I was in the comforter 
group two. Now, the, the you know, Daniel 825 says through their policies, I believe it's 825, through their policies, they say peace. Now, did you know, and I'm old enough to remember, going back, when I was in a particular location, that's all I'm going to say, and where I was living, they had songs talking about don't be racist, don't do this, love one another. But you know it was KKK printed all over the buildings? Who, by the way, were Christians? This school is, I believe, a Protestant Christian school. Yeah. Did you know KKK, they had KKK printed all over the buildings, right? But then they said, love your enemy. Now, I can't understand that. And this is what they gave us in the slave Bible. Love your enemy, love your enemy. But yet, they're hanging crosses and lynching Negroes. They're still doing this today. Pushing for peace. The Al Charlatans and all those pastors and preachers pushing for peace but through peace they're deceiving many let me get another scripture real quick and i'll close up let's go to jeremiah let me go to jeremiah 8 so i i don't understand why he says that well, we mad at the whole caucasian race some caucasians got brown skin too some white people aren't actually white you know, nobody's actually white, but some people who look Caucasian aren't actually Caucasian. So, for they have healed the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly, saying, peace, peace, when there is no peace. So there is no peace, man. There is no peace. And as long as guys like this are set up, there will never be peace as well. And that's fine, because we're in hell, right? So I just wanted to touch on this, this guy, his hypocrisy. And I, I, what I try to do is merge two different particular videos together to show you the hypocrisy of the Christian church, the mindset of Christians, how when everything, every time something happens with Hebrew Israelites, the whole Hebrew Israelite community is to blame. And this guy said he doesn't blame all Hebrew Israelites, so why is he even putting it up? Why is he doing that? Wouldn't that offend other people? who followed the Hebrew Israelite faith, right? Why did he do that? But it's not okay for me to put up Christian idolatry, Christian murder, deceit, deception, rape, and all the things that's going on in the Christian church. That's not okay to put up. Anyway, more hypocrisy of Christians exposed. And at the end of the day, the Hebrew Israelites have saved a lot of young and older men's lives. That's all I have on that, Shalom.